Hi there, it's Timmy Joe. Seriously though, what am I doing? I make videos about computers on the internet and well, this is for real. This isn't clickbait, this isn't some sort of ploy. This is Radeon Vega Frontier Edition. And as far as I could tell, no one's really unboxed one, although I'm sure it's not gonna be all that impressive, but there will be a lot more to do with it than simply take it out of the box. So cue an intro, we're gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna go through a few things, some major changes with the channel, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun checking this out for the first time. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, seriously. We are going to we're going to unbox this. It's not going to be a long video. It's not going to be crazy cuz I'm sure it's just a graphics card. Has very nice vinyl Vega E uh, Explore Create Pioneer stuff on it. Uh, there's some Japanese, some different languages. Not much else on this box. But yeah, I was actually expecting this to have some stuff. Oh, it's stinky. Uh, this to have some stuff on it. But um, let's go ahead and we'll just. Kind of hard to open. Oh, there's some. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's really stinky. There's a little booklet. Uh, what's it got in it here? Looks like it's got every frame of that weird uh, video that AMD put out with it. It's got some international compliance information, but we don't want to see that. Wow. This stuff really smells like it's chemicals. Holy jeez. That though, that looks awesome. Um, yep, there's a card in there. So we have DVI to uh, display port. We have one beautiful looking card. Is there anything else in here? Nothing. All right, so I'm. Looks like looks like it's been open before. Oh wow! Seriously though, I mean this this is freaking beautiful. I haven't seen a graphics card look that good in a while. One sec. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> so, this is an ugly bastard, isn't it? It's a 1080, Founders Edition, Frontier Edition. Apparently, this isn't any faster than this. I also have a 1070 in the back of my computer there. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you know that. So I have a 1070 and a 1080, both are Founders Editions. One has a really good cooler on it. This has the stock cooler on it. I actually took it out of a water cooled computer and reassembled it so that we had uh, an apples to apples comparison. But isn't this beautiful? I mean, this looks like it came out of Shea LaBeouf Transformers, uh, you know, and maybe he's like, hey, Optimus. Here's your uh, nutsack back, like, Jesus. Um, sorry, NVIDIA. You make a really good GPU, but you need to do something about that. It's been the same since the 770. I, I, I touched the 770 like uh, two months ago and I was like, hmm, nothing, nothing's changed. But, beautiful looking. Like, can't even get over the fact that I'm holding one of these things. It looks amazing they really went out of their way and if the rx version is just you know a black version of this with uh red trim instead of yellow that's that's a sexy graphics card which is really unfortunate because no one's gonna wanna well people might want to buy it but they're certainly not gonna want to buy the you know stock the the you know the amd version because the cooler on it just sucks gamers nexus has pointed this out and the water cooled version works a lot better so you're gonna want to get a board partner at msi you know or a twin frozer or something like that aces strix version in order to get the maximum performance and you're gonna miss out on this beautiful feat of engineering they've really outdone themselves with this it just looks like su like a, a beautiful piece of art compared to you know some phallic transformer piece anyways 
we're gonna put this thing through a gambit of real life real world testing real world games we're gonna have a lot of fun we're not gonna worry about rendering we're not gonna worry about their use case scenario on this I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts that Radeon RX Vega is going to be the same as the Frontier Edition GPU wise. There's going to be some architectural changes maybe in the regards to how much memory or compute units or something in the background, but the actual core of the thing is going to be pretty much the same. So I'll be able to test that because I will get my hands on RX Vega and we will be able to test the data that I get from this because I'm definitely not going to be holding on to this. This is a treat that I get to hold on to this for now. Uh, so don't pretend like I'm firing in my rig and we're you know making it happen. This is a review sample that is for sure but i got my hands on it so uh all you haters out there i'm out watch to me on instagram and twitter i would hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a upgrade in both the amazing product that the channel produces and the content that is on it and it's totally worth your time to hit the subscribe button and follow me on twitter at watch to me joe i got an instagram too maybe put some cool pictures of vega up on there but uh in the meantime i should see you by uh next week with some real world results as well as there is always all kinds of crazy cool stuff going on in this channel old builds new builds builds that climb on rocks even kids with chicken pot. so i will see you guys in the next video i gotta start working on the benchmarks for this and unicron needs his um his phallic symbol back i will see you guys in the next video and i really do appreciate you guys uh, hitting the subscribe button and i will talk to you guys later freaking thank you guys <sighs>